now that our lines are drawn, we can measure the distance of each leg. Remember to use the outer scale of 1 to 500,000 on the nautical mile side of the ruler. This is the correct scale for the VNC. As we measure the distance of the departure to set heading point leg, we need to remember that this might break down into two separate legs on the nav log. We will discuss that later. For now, just measure and note the distance is 14 nautical miles. Measuring the distance of the primary leg we come up to a value of 53 nautical miles. As you obtain your distances, just record them on a separate piece of paper for now. Don't put them in the nav log just yet. Now we can use our ruler to mark the halfway point as well as every 10 nautical miles along our route. This helps easily identify how far we've flown or how far we have to fly. Now we need to pull out our square protractor, also known as the Douglas protractor, to draw our 10 degree drift lines. Start by aligning the protractor with the grommet at your set heading point and your root line on the 360 degree mark or the top of the protractor. Above the 010 degree mark and the 350 degree mark, Make small pencil marks to denote your 10 degree lines on either side of your track. Next, use your ruler by lining it up with the set heading point and one of the 10 degree marks you made. Complete the line by using a hatched line marking or a separate color. This makes it easy to see and not mistake your 10 degree drift lines for your root line. Repeat for the other side. Now we need to flip our chart around and do the same thing off the destination airport. If you have multiple legs in your journey, you will need to make 10 degree drift lines for each leg. Now let's flip the map on its side so we can get a full view. Now this map is already complete with pencil markings, but it's tough to see. So I'm going to go over the procedure one more time, step by step, and overlay with colored markings. First, draw your route line from your departure point to your set heading point, then from your set heading point to your destination. Next, measure the distance from your departure to your set heading point, and from your set heading point to your destination. At the same time, you can draw your 10 nautical mile markings, and your halfway mark. And finally, using your Douglas protractor, draw your 10 degree drift lines starting at your set heading point, and then flipping the map and finishing at the arrival airport. 